I'm Ryan Schmid and uh, I'm a entomologist that, and I work at Ecdysis Foundation located at Blue Dasher Farm. We're out here in rural South Dakota by Esteline. It's a, it's a nonprofit that is working, designed to work closely with, with farmers and ranchers uh, that, are, that are trying to figure out how to implement regenerative practices on their land. And so we work very closely with that and we have a firm belief that as researchers that are trying to help farmers we also need to to kind of be farmers ourselves. So that's why Ecdysis is located on a working regenerative farm, uh, Blue Dasher Farm, here in eastern South Dakota. Uh, so this is a roller crimper that we built uh, with funding from SARE and this is designed to terminate cover crops uh, if they're at the correct stage. This, this piece of machine uh, the idea came because we had a lot of farmers in the area that were interested in, in using a roller crimper to control their cover crops in the springtime before they put in their cash crops. And the problem they were running into is there weren't a lot of available in our areas in South Dakota and they also cost quite a bit of money which was a big hang up for a lot of producers. Uh, that were trying something different on their farm. Roller crimping was kind of a new idea, so they didn't want to invest a lot of money if they, if they didn't have the, the, the funds or weren't sure that it would work well with their operation. So uh, a colleague of mine, Mike Bredesen, and I were talking to some local farmers, and we kind of came up with the idea that we, we could build one of these machines uh, for not that much money and not that much time. And so that was the idea, and we approached SARE to get some funding for it. And, uh, and the project took off from there. And this machine is built from mostly scrap parts, and that was the whole idea to, to, for cost savings from this. So the, the roller crimper itself is made from an International 490 disc, uh, and so that's the frame for it. But if for whatever farmers needs, they can scale up to different machinery that would work or scale down for different frames. Uh, quite easily you can find very small discs or you can find quite large ones out there. Uh, and this one, we chose this size because it, it met the needs. This is about 23 feet wide and it met the needs of the farmers in the area, but it also was below what most farmers wanted from from new discs, so it had no trade-in value, so it was very cheap to get. And then from there, once we had selected that, we went to work on finding the other scrap pieces that we needed to complete the drums on the, on the roller. Uh, so the drums we found in the salvage yard, those long tubes you see there that we attach the blades, uh, those are probably uh, out of the North Dakota oil fields, we think. Uh, that's what the scrapyard guy thought. And they just so happen to be the perfect diameter, which is 16 inches, uh, to, to mount roller crimper drums. And then we did purchase, you'll see there are straight blades on the machine versus the chevron pattern. And we did that because it was very easy for somebody like myself and Mike who had never welded anything or put together any sort of machine before. Uh, to, to assemble that versus the chevron blades that you typically see on a roller crimper that have uh, required some kind of bending of the metal or, or cutting of it. Uh, these were really easy to get from a, from a steel manufacturer in the area. They even cut the blades to length for us. Uh, so then from there we just assembled it using the expertise from our farmer cooperators uh, who, who knew how to, showed us how to weld and how to assemble machinery. So that's kind of what Ecdysis is all about, learning with farmers and ranchers and, and kind of providing some of the, the expertise that maybe they don't have the time or the equipment to do themselves, to, to do that research end for the farmers. The final cost in materials for this project um, was roughly $5,000, which is what our goal was for this. So material, which is substantially less than what you find online 
Uh, currently, a roller crimper of this size is probably thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. So, it's substantially less than that, and the hours we put into it total are roughly 160 hours, which hopefully uh, uh, the next phase of this project is to release videos of our build as well as blueprints to the public uh, so that people don't have to spend so much time trying to figure out how to fit all the pieces together.